Holy Redeemer, King Solomon, King Solomon, uh, uh, the pastor there, Nathan Butler, grandson seemed like, um, uh, what's his name? I, uh, well, it'll come to me. I don't worry about what I can't pull up. I don't need a teleprompter to talk about Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. But about this community, T.C. Calvary, if he walk in that door right now, he's an approachable person. He and his son, Tommy, they are about the community. Thank you, Jesus. All of my viewers and listeners, everybody, Merry Christmas. Glory to God. In Jesus' name, don't miss God's highways and hedges. Uh, 2023, you're going to hear some singing. The persons that helped me with the community choir, I walk in just as big, representing Jesus Christ. I never deny him. Some people say it don't make no difference about the denomination, but it makes a difference whether you have the Holy Ghost or not, and you baptize in Jesus' name and let him wash your sins away so you don't have to spend forever and eternity in hell. How come I stand up? We get in our own way. We st say so you reap just what you sow. Hallelujah. God gives me the healing of souls. So I can't get angry or upset with nobody. I have to love everybody. Because when loving everybody, when I meet people out in the community, oh, the lady that God gave the kidney spoke to me and through me. That was a miracle. I met her at the dollar store at in Wincrest. Ooh, hallelujah. She had changed cars. I didn't know she was in the store. She didn't know I was in the area. But we came face to face when I came out with my packages. She said, oh, I'm, uh, I'm in trouble again. She said, my key, I lost my key. We were there from 2 o'clock to 6, and 6 o'clock, you know it's dark now. It's daylight saving time. The key man came out. I'm going to charge her $300. Don't lose your key. If you have an opportunity to have one, make, make it while you can, or when you have the money or whatever, she couldn't leave. I said, told her, I'm not going to leave you here. I'm going to stay with you too. That key man went in her car several times. And the machine wouldn't work. I took the oil and anointed her and, and prayed and asked God. I said, work this out. Another missionary lady in the store, I could tell she was a missionary. She was very thin, but she walked. She had, she had so much strength. I knew God had to be with her. She went in the store and looked several times. The key man, the machine wouldn't work. But after I anointed and prayed for her, the owner of the manager of the store came out. She said, I'm going to put the camera on. She put the camera on. Miss Yvonne never came out with the key. She she put her things in the car 
and she had a key in her hand. The manager put the camera on, and she said, that key is in that car. And she said, if I have to tear it up, I'm going to tear it up because the key is in there. She found the key and all the $300 was saved. You can't get home. You got to pay $300 to get home because you, you lost your key at the store. But God put us together, put that miracle back on her. Not only did he give her a kidney, but he put us together that day and she saved $300. Praise God. When God put me with you, it's something you need that can't nobody do it but God. I know that. See, because I don't ask God for anything. I volunteer all these years to the persons that's helping me. I don't take up no collections. I don't say I have not received blessings. But you don't have to. All God has to do is connect us. And I know it's something that you need that only God can bless you with it. And when I, when I see it, I don't stop until God do it. Hallelujah. Somebody got on Facebook about, I don't know when he's going to do it. And I don't know how. But I know that he can do it. See? He gave you faith for what you do, and he gave me faith so I can come to you in that compelling situation after he worked, and you see it's got to be him. When I go in that dollar store now, I'm recognized as being with the lady in God working the miracle. When she go to the doctor, that was four or five years ago, and she's still living, but she got to the place where she couldn't live. She couldn't sleep, and she couldn't eat. But God spoke and said, I'm going to fix it. And he did. Sometimes we get in the way of the promises because we don't believe if you, you got to really believe God for the miracles. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm wound up now. I'm glad I got that miracle in. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm, I'm ready, God. <laughs> I'm ready for the, all the miracles. Because I know that you can do it, will do it, if we don't get in the way and knock our blessings out through unbelief. If it don't come right away. That's why I was thrilled to talk about Jesus' decision when he heard about Lazarus being very ill. Jesus said, well, I'm going to wait a couple of days. I'm not going right away. And the sisters wanted to give him a piece of her mind. But God won that battle. He said, don't you know who I am? You're not just waiting on anybody. One either by them. Thank you. The Copelands and Sherelle Kemp. We had two trips to see one either by them. You two, she stays in the news. But we need to pray for her because God anointed that song. It's the truth. I don't mind waiting because you're not just waiting on anybody. 
You, you would know the one that so loved you. That this time of year, a savior was born. Like when I had a blowout in front of the Pepsi Cola Company on, on the Access Road, and the Minister Williams. This Bible was on top of my spare. He grabbed it and he said, do you know who Jesus, who God's, what God's name is? And I had been talking about Jesus Christ and the birth certificate and Mary and Joseph. He went to Psalms where our God's name is Jehovah. And I said, you know, Minister Williams, you all are helping me with my blowout. But those are the first words came through my vocal cord. That unknown tongue speaking in tongues was Jehovah. And all the same time, he was taking me back over the roster. Oh. God is so great. I don't want nobody to miss Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost. Thank you for this time. You all don't know what, when I'm talking about time right now, this is a miracle for me just to be sitting here and talking to you. <laughs> it could be. If it was not Christian hearts working with me, I wouldn't be talking to you. But yesterday, the Son of God let me know. He shined on me in a special way all the way from heaven. I never really felt like, I feel like a servant. I don't feel like, you know, a leader. Martin Luther King, the pastors, the bishops, and all. But now, yesterday, it's like he was telling me, You won, you won, because you've been consistent about healing the souls. You know you can't heal them, but you bring them to me, and I heal them. When they accept what you you ask them, you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. You've been consistent. I had to stir them up with the COVID-19, with the shootings. People can't go to the grocery store. Everybody's afraid. If God is that. President Kennedy said, if God is not your protection, you don't have any. On the operating table, in jail, in prison, wherever you are, if, if he's not your protection, you don't have any. So, talking about sharing, but what are you sharing? I'm going to outdo you. No, I'm going to outdress you. I got the best home. I got the best car. I was at Longhorns. When I was moving, I had a car full of stuff. I still got stuff in my car. I still have stuff in storage because I had to stop twice and go to Washington, D.C. to graduation and a birthday. And sure got a blessing there. That's my brother. When he was two months old, the doctors gave him up. But he reached his, from the two months till now, he reached his 90th birthday. And he stood up and told those doctors and lawyers and psychologists and everybody, The 
my son in the VA nursing home. That lady there, she's going to come and do some music for me that entertains the veterans. Her lady. Oh, yeah. I'm so thankful to God. I'm his. I'm his. God, you know I'm yours. Thank you for my time left. Appreciate you so much. See, God went all out of his way for us. And he's got servants doing the same thing, walking in his footsteps. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. When you receive a promise from God, With his promise is integrity, hope, joy, love. <laughs> Grace, mercy. Hallelujah. Don't give up. And I want you to know that God sure do love America. Don't you don't you make no mistake. He told me. Put it in the air. Don't mess with America. See, you don't have to worry about what, about people. Those 19 children in Uvalde, they never had a chance to enter into this world of sin, the active world of sin. God can bring them back Praise God. I'm so glad I know that. In Jesus Christ's name, all the lives that you're taking, God going to bring every one of them back to the families. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. But God, to save the world, is getting attention. Because some people need to know at the end, he said it would be peerless times. And in the peerless time, the people have a chance. If, if somebody will give the altar call, they will have time to accept Jesus Christ. What's important to Jesus Christ in every church Christian organization should be the souls of men and women. That's what God is about. The so loving gift, Christmas gift, the greatest gift, the best gift. If you can get somebody, take them to church. Hallelujah. Tell them about Jesus. Street preachers, everybody, all the ministries here in San Antonio, God bless you, and I wish you the best. We can't all be the same, but we can just do our best and let Jesus Christ help us to do the rest. You need his help. You're going to need him. Thank you, God, for my son.
in Floresville, completely paralyzed. Oh, he's got a wonderful chair, everything. But they love him. Those people say, when I go, they jump on me. They say, we love your son so much. God gave him such a great brain. <laughs> his, his father, Eddie, Foots Brown, drummer here in San Antonio, being a comedian with that being a, a drummer. We married very young. Didn't know what we were doing. <laughs> Call ourselves in love. Praise God. But the love that we all need is Jesus Christ. Need to accept the love from him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Just like I was talking to you here in this uh, studio, from the studio, I used to leave church. In fact, recently, I left Conqueror's Assembly and uh, I passed this, by the railroad track, this family, and they had a yard sale, and I got four of those people right at Ashley and um, Flo uh, Flores. They supplied the water. I got four of them to accept Jesus Christ. And well, <laughs> that's what I do. That's what I do. And then the church, and I guess that was just a, a day nobody was going up to the altar to receive Jesus. But this, this is what happens with the street ministry. Thank you, God, for telling me to heal the souls. And that's been years and years and years ago. I don't never want to forget what God told me to do. And, and the volunteer, now he's ready to really bring them in. Because it's peerless time. It's near the end. Everybody got to get in a hurry. The preachers are preaching the right thing now. They're making the altar call. But let Jesus Christ's blood, it takes, he didn't just shed his blood for no reason. He shed it to get rid of every individual's sin. His blood. And the water that's used to represent the blood in Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah. We can't make it without blood. Only one way that an individual can make it without blood. And Jesus Christ is going to show when he comes back by the graveyard, don't nobody have blood there. But they come, oh, get up! Your loved ones, they're going to get up! Mother, father, sister, brother, you, me, everybody is not going to be in the cemetery. The ones that still left here are going to be caught up. Just like when I'm flying, I got pictures of my flight April and September when I was flying up in the air. And God had this big cloud with his head 
like I tell you, you gonna really God's highways and hedges don't miss it. Don't miss it. Oh, and the songs that I'm going to present, I need at least several people to come that want to open their mouths for Jesus Christ with these songs. Area code 210-268-2959. And you have to put sing with it when you call that number. Because I'm talking about singing on God's highways and hedges. You need about several people. 210 268 in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Love you all. Amen. Hallelujah.